Good morning guys, Dan Murphy, Long Island Realtor. Today I'd like to uh, give a few tips for first time homeowners. I've uh, grown up a little checklist here. So um, the reason why I'm doing this, I remember how overwhelming it was for me when I first went out uh, looking for a home. I looked at 50 homes before I uh, was able to come up with a home that I was going to buy and move my family into. So without any further ado, Number one, set up a good team. The first thing on that list, get to a lender, figure out your finances, figure out how much you have for a down payment, and uh, figure out your, what, what's called buying power. You, know, you want to walk into, uh, you, you want to be confident when you're going to go make that offer that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, um, and I have a, a pre-approval from a lender which basically is required nowadays uh, to submit your offer. Most uh, sellers want to see that, hey, this guy's pre-approved and he's ready to go. Number two, or, num or, or being in this section, uh, a good attorney, you want an attorney that does real estate closings. Um, a lot of people, you know, they have attorneys in the family that really don't do real estate, um, but they feel that they, you know, he's an attorney, he's a lawyer. Um, that may not be the route to go. So. If you do have a family real estate attorney, definitely use them, but use an attorney that does closings and uh, that'll help speed up the process. Have an inspector lined up. Once you get your offer accepted, you're going to need to get the house inspected. Um, and uh, if you have the guy lined up, they're very busy in today's market because there's a lot of homes that are being put on the contract or a lot of offers being accepted and, and guys are running around. So have that lined up today and uh, it'll help move the, the process forward. <clears throat> Number two, choosing a community. I recommend you look at maybe two or three communities um, that you, you may want to live in. Drive around those communities. Drive around during the day, drive around at night. Um, get to uh, review the school district. Uh, you want to know, uh, you know, local shopping is important. You want to know your ingress and egress out of the city. You know, if you want to live close to the beach, you want to live close to the park. <clears throat> These are all things that you can do to help choose a community that you want to live in. Also, with that style home, what I recommend you do is you go around to, in those communities, you look for open houses. Uh, you can find that on uh, multiple listing service. They do have a consumer area. You can go on uh, on the internet and you can you know find out when open houses are and you can go walk the open houses and uh, get a feel for the style home you'd like to live in and uh, you know the different amenities that you want in that house. After you do that, I recommend you work with a hyper local realtor. Work with a guy that knows the area, knows the price points, knows what you know you'll be able to buy for the uh, buying. Uh, you know, once you figure out your buying power, that hyper local realtor will be able to help you uh, choose a home and uh, get you into a home uh, rather uh, sooner than later. And number five, the most important one: make offers. Remember, uh, for me. It was very, very difficult and overwhelming to make an offer and, you know, where do I stand if I make an offer and it's accepted. But, uh, you know, I, I, I ended up working with a really good agent um, who, she was great in the area that I moved into and uh, she, uh, she directed me right to a great house that uh, my family's living in today. So, anyway, I hope you... I hope you found this information helpful. My name, again, Dan Murphy. I'm a Long Island Realtor. My number is 516-361-1680. I'm here to help, guys. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. I'm going to leave my email down in the description box. And uh, if you, you want to see some future stuff with regards to real estate, just click on my channel. I'll be sending out some more stuff uh, in the future. Anyway. Have a great day and uh, till next time. Thank you.